So we're going to teach you how to add your name to the back of any 3D printed phone case. All right, so uh, what you're going to do is go to Tinkercad.com. That's Tinkercad.com. And you're going to either sign in if you already have an account or sign up. The good thing about signing up is it doesn't require a confirmation email even, so it goes really quick. I mean, you can get signed up in, in, in just a minute. When you sign in, you'll originally you'll be on Lessons. Go to All Designs and to create a new design. Keep in mind that what's cool about this program is it's on the cloud, so it runs through your browser. You don't even have to install anything. Um, okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to Import, and you're going to go to Browse. Mine is in my Downloads folder, uh, and this is a phone case that I made for the Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime. So I'm going to press that, and then you have to press Import. Make sure it's on millimeters. Otherwise, your phone case is going to be enormous. Okay, so there it is. It's really simple. So we're going to add text. So you're going to you can com condense this menu and go to Shape Generators and Text. Drag it out onto the surface, and it's really simple. I'm going to put my nickname is Woody. So I'm going to put that in there. You can actually change the font, but I'm just going to stick with this one. Uh, so what you're going to do first of all is you know, it depends on how you want to set it up. It's up to you, but you can rotate stuff. I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees. And you just grab the object. It's super easy. You just grab the object. And if you want it to stick out the bottom, just to make sure it's going to cut all the way through. You don't have to. But if you want to, you can drag it down a little bit with this little arrow here, which moves the Z-axis. I'm going to now hold down Shift, and that will scale uniformly so that it doesn't... Oh, wait. I almost forgot. We have to turn the thing upside down. So rotate it this direction because you're actually going to be seeing it from down here. If you do it the other way, it's going to be backwards when you look at it, or a mirror image of it, basically. So I'm going to hold down Shift, and I'm going to scale this so it looks about as big as I want it. Um, you can use the nudge keys, which are the arrow keys, to move it around so you can get it just exactly where you want it. Okay, that's what I want. So now click on that text and go to Hole. Or up here, it's whole. In this program, if you assign a color to something, it adds to the shape. If you assign it as a whole, it will take away and subtract from the shape. That's what we want. So we're going to go grab all that and group it together. Now, I chose my nickname for a good reason, and it's going to show you one of the problems that can arise with this is, is that when you scrape this thing off the 3D printer the way it is, the, the insides of the, the O's and the D, they're going to be left behind, and they're not going to be there. If you want to keep those on there, collapse this menu and go down to Geometric. There's a trick that works around that problem. Drag out a box. Very simple. The top dot, we're going to squish, grab that top dot, it's a white dot, and squish that thing down to two millimeters. Now squish this thing down in this direction with this black dot right in the middle uh, to about two millimeters. Now we're going to have to zoom in, and there's a little black dot on this end. I'm going to make this thing a little bit longer. And I'm going to grab it somewhere, just drag it. And what I need to do, I actually don't want that to be right on the surface because it cuts right through it. And I, what I want to do is hide this up a millimeter. So if I raise this thing up like a millimeter so it's flush with the surface, your 3D printer will be easy, easily bri do bridges across there. And now it doesn't, all, it, it, although it holds it together, it doesn't stay up on the surface to distract your view of it. So I'm going to zoom back in, and obviously we need to extend this bar a little further. Mine are all in a row, so that makes it really easy. And now instead of making that a hole, I want that to add to my shape. So I'm going to actually just keep that as a color. Okay? You don't want to go any higher than this. Like, I can't pull this up to make it thicker because that would interfere with the fit of the phone. Okay? So now you can grab all that and group it together. And it's really simple. You just go down. You can... You can uh, Waiting while it saves some changes, go to Design, Download for 3D Printing, and click STL. Throw that on your printer, and you should have yourself a nice phone case.